Lakshmi Tantra, Chapter 25 Tarika and Anuttara Mantras Shri Thus, O Chakra, I have told you in detail all about the Tarika Mantra. Now listen to me describe the way of Tarika, who saves the world. To determine the rules regarding the letters that are the basis of mantras, first, hear their characteristic names, which, when properly learnt by the adept, give him the key to the secret system of mantras. The letter A is called Apramaya, immeasurable, unlimited, unfathomable, also known as Pratama, first in time or in a series, and Vyapaka, pervading, comprehensive, widespread. The letter A is called Adideva, the primeval god, Brahman, Ananda, pure happiness, and Gopana, guarding, protecting, concealing. The letter I is called Rama, pleasing, charming, beautiful, is also known as Idha, shining, glowing, bright, and Ishta, cherished, reverenced, respected. O Purandara, the letter E is called Panchabindu, five points, drops, or zeros. Vishnu, all-pervading, preserver, and Maya, art, wisdom, unreality, deception. The letter U is known as Bhuvana, a being, creature, mankind. Uddhama, self-will, unlimited, fiery. And Udaya, rising, swelling, becoming visible. The letter U is called Urja, strong, invigorating, life. Lokesha, Lord of the world, Brahma, Buddha, and Pragnadhar, wise, bearing wisdom. The letter Ri is called Satya, true, genuine, honest, faithful. Ritadhaman, abiding in truth, and Ankusha, hook, elephant goad. The letter Ri is called Vishtara, seat made of kusha grass, Jwala, burning, torch, hot, and Prasarana, spreading, extending, developing. The letter Ri is traditionally known as Lingatman, mark or symbol denoting God a brahmachari student, taraka, causing to pass, carrying over, liberating, helmsman, and bhagavan, all-powerful, fortunate, godlike, while the letter ri is called dirghagona, long, high nose, devadatta, god-given, the prana of yawning, and virat, shining, tenfold. The letter A is called triashra, triangular, triple, jagadyoni, womb of the world, and avigraha, bodiless, indisputable. The letter I is traditionally known as Aishwarya, sovereignty, supremacy, power. 
Yoga Dhata, maintainer of yoga, and Airavana, Indra's elephant. The letter O is known as Otadeva, lord of all directions, Odana, grain mashed and cooked with milk, and Vikramin, striding, valorous, gallant. And the letter Au as Aurva of the earth, Bhudara, earth supporting, a mountain, and Aushadha, herbal, medicine. The letter N is famous as Trilokaishwaryada, controller of the three worlds, Vyapin, pervading, covering, comprehensive, and Vyomesha, controller of all space. The letter Aha is named Visarga, letting go, liberation, opening, Srishtikrit, creator, Brahma, and Parameshwara, supreme being. The letter Ka is called Kamala, lotus, lustful, rose-colored, Karala, formidable, gaping mouth, opening wide, and Paraprakriti, transcendental nature, pure creation. The letter Ka is called Karvadeha, imperfect manifestation impure creation, Vedatman, soul of the Veda, the sun, and Vishvabhavana, all creating, Vishnu. The letter Ga is called Gadadvangsin, holds a club in his arms, Govinda, friend of the cows and earth, and Gadadhar, bearing a club. Then the letter Gha is named Gamarmksu, hot raid, sun, Tejasvin, sharp, brilliant, bright, and Diptiman, bright, powerful person. The letter N is called Ekadangstra, one-toothed or horned, Bhutatman, soul of all beings, Brahma, Jiva, and Bhuta Bhavana, causing the welfare of living beings. The letter Cha is said to be named Chanchala, unsteady, inconstant, a libertine, Chakri, wheel, and Chandrangshu, moonbeam, half moon. The letter Cha is called Chandapati, master of the Vedas. Chandvangsin, destroying deceit, and Chandas, the Vedas, Sanskrit poetic meter. The letter Ja is named Janmahantra, killer of rebirth. Ajita, unconquered, invincible. And Shashvata, eternal, constant, perpetual. The letter Ja bears the names Jasha, a fish, an overgrown forest. Samaga, and Samapataka. Both mean a Brahmana who recites the Samaveda. The letter Nya is called Ishwara, capable, master, controller. Uttama, superlative, highest, ultimate. And Tattvadharaka, container of the cosmic principles. 
The letter Ta is called Chandrin, having gold, possessing the moon. Ahlada, refreshing, joy, delight. And Vishvapya Yakra, pleasure giving letter. The letter Ta is called Dharadhara, water bearer, cloud. Nemi, thunderbolt. And Kaustubha, a celebrated jewel obtained by churning of the milk ocean, worn by Vishnu. The letter Da is called Dandadhar, rod bearer, administering justice. Mausala, club or club fighting. And Akanda Vikrama, whole, complete stride or heroism. The letter Daha is called Vishvarupa, variegated colors, wearing all forms. Vrishakarman, doing manly deeds like a bull. And Pratardhana, piercing, destroying. The letter Na is famous as Abhayada, giving fearlessness, protection. Shastri, chastiser, ruler, teacher. And Vaikuntha, without anxiety, the heavenly abode of Vishnu. The letter Ta is known as Tala Lakshman, mark of time. Vairaja, belonging to Brahma or Manu of the 27th Kalpa. And Sraghdhara, a sacred text written in the form of a garland. The letter Ta is called Dhanvin, armed with a bow, cunning, Sagittarius. Bhuvanapala, prince of the earth. And Sarvarodhaka, stopping, holding back, restraining, shutting up, besieging, blockading all. The letter Da is known as Dattavakasha, given or a glance fixed on open space. Damana, taming, subduing, self-controlled, charioteer, and Shantida, giving peace, a name of Vishnu. The letter Dha is known as Sharngadri, holding a bow of horn, armed with a bow, another name of Vishnu. Damana, taming, subduing, overpowering, and Madhava, vernal, of the dynasty of Yadu, sweetness. The letter Na is said to be Nara, the primeval man, a male, a person, husband. Narayana, the primeval form of Vishnu, and Pantha, way, path, or spiritual path. The letter Pa is called Padmanabha, Vishnu, from whose navel came a lotus containing Brahma. Pavitra, means of purification, filter, strainer, kusha grass, and Paschimanana, one who is free from death. The letter Pa is called Pulanayana, having eyes dilated with joy, smiling, happy, Langalin, furnished with or possessing a plow, and Shveta, white, dressed in white, bright. The letter Ba is referred to as Vamana, small, a dwarf, a name of Vishnu, Hrasva, unimportant, insignificant, short, small, and Purnanga, 
complete in parts or limbs. The letter Bha is known as Bhalataka, the cashew nut or its oil. Siddhi Prada, auspicious, granting or promising success. And Dhruva, fixed, firm, immovable, unchangeable, constant, lasting, permanent, or eternal. The letter Ma is named Mardana, crushing, grinding, rubbing, bruising, paining, tormenting, ruining, destroying. Kala, black, time, or Saturn. And Pradhan, chief thing or person, primary unevolved matter. The letter Ya is called Chaturgati, four-footed, a tortoise. Susukshma, very small or delicate, difficult to understand. And Shankha, conch shell. The letter Ra is called Ashesha Bhuvanadhar, one who bears the entire universe. Anala, wind, fire, Agni, and Kala Pavaka, the cleansing fire of devastation. The letter La is called Vibuddha, very wise or learned. Dharesha, the original person bearing, carrying, possessing, having, keeping in memory, sustaining, preserving, or observing the world, and Purusheshvara, the Supreme Person. The letter Va is known as Varaha, a wild boar, hog, pig, or the boar incarnation of Vishnu. Amritadhar, bearing the nectar of immortality, a name of Mohini, and Varuna, Lord of the Waters. The letter Sha is named Shankara, auspicious, beneficent, a name of Shiva. Shanta, gentle, mild, friendly, tranquility, contentment. And Pundarika, beauty, white lotus, tilak mark. The letter Sha is called Nrishingha, the man-lion incarnation of Vishnu, a great or illustrious man. Agnirupa, one with a form of fire. And Bhaskara, making light, shining, glittering, bright. The letter Sa is called Amrita, Nectar of Immortality, Tripti, Satisfaction, Contentment, and Soma, Juice, Extract, especially of the Soma plant, the Moon. The letter Ha is called Surya, the Sun or Sun God, Prana, Vital Air, Life Energy, Vigor, Vitality, and Paramatman, the Supreme Spirit, Universal Soul, or Super Soul. The letter Ksha is called Anantesha, the original unlimited being, Brahman. Varganta, last of the consonants, ultimate subject. And Garuda, devourer, vehicle of Vishnu. Sun's rays. Thus I conclude my detailed description of the letters. O Chakra, highly intelligent one, this enumeration of letters in a mantra described in successive or reverse order, dependent on whether they are mentioned by Sangya, name, or by numeral according to their position in the alphabet, 
merely gives a Samanya, general description of them. And, in fact, all these letters possessing luminous forms are parts of absolute consciousness. Letters are the source of all mantras. They are made strong by the Lakshmi Shakti. They are reverentially praised, worshipped, and meditated upon by the adept by means of their names. They bestow great prosperity on the adept, produce and promote the highest knowledge in his mind. When used in mantras, they become parts of each other. There is nothing in this world of movables and immovables that is not produced by them. Although the forms of the mantras are divine and eternal, yet mantras are thus conceived to be produced by letters. According to the sacred scripture, such mantras are full of efficacy. And, O oh highly intelligent one, in this way they become the basis for inspired thought. Just as human thought imagines divisions in space, although it is actually indivisible, so for the sake of convenience are the divisions of letters assumed in a mantra. As soon as he has performed the worship of this mental expansion of letters three times, on the ground, on the lotus diagram, and on the body of the goddess, the adept should reconstruct the mantras in the following way. Taking Paramatman, Ha, let him connect Kalavachni, Ra, to it, and then let him join Maya, E, to it, together with Trilokaishvaryada, Hmm. The resultant form, Hring, is the supreme Shakti of Vishnu, which bestows on the adept all desired objects. This is my state of integral existence, the constant form containing consciousness and bliss. This is that supreme state which becomes everlasting to the knower of Brahman. In order to abide in Hring, or Tarika, the knowers of the realities enter Brahman, which is identical with me. It is thus that in all sacred scriptures, the leading savants of the cosmic principles look upon Tarika. The entire world, consisting of words and their objects, is woven through and through with Tarika. It is through her that I, the Eternal, am always explained by the philosophers of Sankhya. It is by her aid that those who aspire to Samadhi are meditatively absorbed in me. It is through her that I am called by the Shaivas the final one of the 36 tattvas. It is through her that I am considered by the Sauras to be the great queen of their mandala, the supreme Trayi, triad of the Shruti, containing Rik, Yajas, and Saman Vedas. It is through her that the Lokayata, materialistic adepts, often seek me in the form of a handsome young girl, attractive in every limb. It is through her that the Buddhist advocates of the theory of momentary existence contemplate me as being the indeterminate wisdom without support, nirvana. It is through her that the Jainas always call me the Yakshi. Paramatarika, Shakti, Tarini, Tarikakriti, Lakshmi, Padma, Mahalakshmi, Tara, Gauri, Niranjana, Hrilekha, Paramatmasta Shakti, Bhuvaneshwari, Chit Shakti, Shanti Rupa, Ghoshani, 
ఘోష సంభవ కామధేను మహాధేను జగద్యోని విభావరి These are the names of Tarika that are explained by the wise in all sacred scriptures and by the learned in all the Vedas. Anutarika, one should know, is another form of her. Instead of the aforementioned Paramatman, Ha, insert Shanta, Sha. The rest is just the same as before. And this is my Anutarika form, Shring. Consider Anutarika as the great power equal to that of Tarika. O Purandara, these two highest divine Shaktis, Kring and Shring, are my two forms. Whatever is within the capacity of one will also be within the capacity of the other. They accept by mutual consent their rank as first and second, but both possess equal efficacy to fulfill the adept's desires.